Let's talk about Permalinks with the Yoast SEO plugin and for the most part the plugin actually does a very good job of managing your Permalinks but there is one thing I would recommend that you change with this plugin and to do this let's go to advanced all right and from advanced click on Permalinks now you will see the clean up permalinks section and then over here by default the stop words in slugs has been set to remove now what this does is it will remove all the stop words from your permalinks automatically so stop words like uh, up with to off is words like that they will be removed from your permalinks now <sighs> Some people don't care, all right? Some people don't care that this happens, but I care and I would recommend that you manually edit your permalinks yourself because the Yoast SEO plugin isn't very intelligent in this regard. All it's going to do will just be to remove every stopword. It doesn't care if the permalinks look funny. So in an instance where you should have a permalink that says uh, how to change a plugin, you may end up having something like uh, how change plugin or just change plugin or something weird. So it's not often a very good idea to leave the plugin to handle this because like I said again, it's just going to end up removing every single stop word. So I would recommend that you keep the stop words in your slogs and then you manually can now decide to go to your individual posts and edit the permalinks yourself. So again it's up to you some people don't care about this they will just go ahead and uh, remove all the stop words but i would recommend that you actually keep some stop words and uh, make sure that the permalinks actually make uh, more sense all right so i'm going to save my changes and uh, that's pretty much it for permalinks all the other default settings here are fine you don't need to change anything in here although some people would argue that uh, you should also strip the category based from your category url and uh Honestly, I haven't particularly seen any major advantage of doing this, so I'll just keep, leave this on Kip. Uh, for breadcrumbs, let's talk about breadcrumbs very quickly. If you have some experience uh, inserting functions into your functions.php template or any one of your page templates, you can go ahead and enable breadcrumbs as well, right? So it does help with SEO to a small extent, but if you don't have any experience, are working with your template files or adding code to your WordPress template files and I'll just recommend that you leave this uh, disabled as it is. So that's it, very quick one for the Premier Links. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next class.